Thank you very much. Tell us about the relationship between Cameroon and the city of and why did you choose to host the Digital Week here in Cameroon? Well, the Commonwealth Telecommunications Organization and the Cameroons have had a, a very close, productive, mutually beneficial relationship for more than 20 years. The uh, Commonwealth Telecommunications Organization is the oldest intergovernmental Commonwealth organization dedicated to information and communication technologies. And Cameroon is a leader in this region in the whole area of telecommunications. And I think we have been talking about this visit since 2019, but the, uh, the Corona-19 pandemic had delayed our coming but we are here now on the invitation of the government of Cameroon to work with the Cameroon people to uh, project or to inform, to educate about the role of information and communication technologies in national development. So we're very pleased to be here. Cameroon has contributed to the direction of the CTO and you know we are very pleased to be part of this 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 uh, event. You have been in Cameroon now for a few days. How ready is the country for this event? We're getting there. Uh, a lot of work has happened over the last few weeks. We have been working with the uh, a number of working committees, and uh, we today we will be continuing now in a face to face mode the planning. For the event. So we're making very good progress. Cameroon has been tremendously supportive and they are engaged and raring to go. So we're very, we're very pleased with the progress that has been made thus far. What is this City or Digital Week all about? What will be happening during this week and what or who are the stakeholders? Digital Week is our is the CTO's part of the CTO's program to promote digital transformation. And I should mention that even though Cameroon is the host of the event, it will not be the only country participating. Other members of the Commonwealth will be coming. And of course, uh, the neighbors in Central Africa, they will be participating as well. So it's not just a national event, it is an international event. And the government of the Cameroon has been supporting they are, um, are very much um, pro and pro telecommunications, pro technology. So they are encouraged, you know, they, they will be spreading the word to other countries as well. The people who will be involved, I want to say that digital transformation is not for the techies, for the technically inclined people, it's for everybody. And our message is, Information and communication technologies are for everyone. It matters not where they may be, in the city, in the rural communities, in the further regions that are further from here. Uh, we are trying to engage all of Cameroon because digital transformation is, of, is about everybody. And how useful is that going to be for the common man in Cameroon, digital oh, transformation? Absolutely. Technology is for all and in everyday situations, technology can make the difference. Uh, when technology is uh, effectively and correctly applied, it can transform every uh, human endeavor. What the man in the street is, what he's doing, what he's involved with, there is an opportunity to make that even better by effective adoption of technology. We have heard uh, about what you call the new cause for the CTO. Can you throw more light on this? Right. The CTO in the past, its mandate was to promote the development of information and communication technologies, to promote uh, the development of ICT in its member countries. The new focus is not just to promote but to facilitate 
the effective adoption of information and communication technologies in our members, in our member countries. So we're not going to say, oh, you're, you need to do this, or you should do that, or doing this with technology is beneficial. We are prepared to work very, very closely with our members to make it happen. So we are focusing on digital transformation and helping our member countries to accelerate digital transformation. And Digital Week Cameroon is about spreading that message uh, to the population, as I said, not just in the Ca Cameroons, but in the surrounding areas and across the Commonwealth of the transformative power of information and communication technologies. One last question, Madam. What is the CTO all about? The CTO is an intergovernmental organization. It is the oldest uh, Commonwealth institution. We have, it, its history traces back to 123 years ago. And we are dedicated to supporting our members, to helping build their capacity in effective adoption of information and communication technologies. So for example, we would provide training on spectrum, on, on regulations, on, on how, on the actual technology as it evolves, because it's very difficult to keep abreast given the rapid pace of technological innovation. And we want to encourage young people to make beneficial and productive use of the technology. We also want to encourage innovators, your indigenous innovators. How can you monetize the wonderful ideas that they have? These are things that we are about. We want to make sure that our members could adopt technology in such a way that it enhances competitiveness because we live in a globally interconnected world and we want to make sure that we support our members in adopting and embracing technology and applying it to every aspect of national life so that you, they are competitive. In the, in the global and, and are able to participate in the global economy, in the digital economy, and, and do well. When you look at Cameroon, Cameroonians mostly are into agro pastoral production. Um, do you think this is an avenue for digitalization? Absolutely. Every sector can benefit from digital technologies, every sector, even the agricultural sectors. Uh, there's so much that can be applied, for example, that would tell you when to water your crops based on the, 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 the situation. There, there's technology that would watch over your crops. Yes, there's technology that would enable you to uh, manage your agricultural uh, farm, whatever it is, when you're not there and you could monitor and keep an eye on what's happening out there on your farm. There are so many opportunities. There are technologies that exist today that could really benefit not just agriculture, mining, you know, every sector, your, your fishermen on the, on the sea, um, every aspect. There are technologies that could make, make the, the process more efficient, more effective for the benefit of, of the, 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 the sector. The Secretary General of the Commonwealth Telecommunications Organization, Mrs. Bernadette Lewis, thanks for talking to the CRTV. Thank you. Thank you very much.